Well, thank you very much. Um, when you come to local government in Ghana, um, our role is enormous because um, every single thing is being done by local government system, i.e. doing it from the bottom-up approach. When it comes to consultation, for example, you have to go down, down to the people from the, uh, as far as more than even the electoral area level, you go down to the district assembly, you go further down to area council, sub-metros and all those things to do proper consultation and we think this is the way that the people can actually own everything and when it comes to I mean implementation or something like that they see it as something that they have done and something that it belongs to them and they will hold it and implement it properly so that's the role that local governance is playing in, in Ghana. Financial decentralization, when it comes to local governance, for example, it plays a key role because in Ghana, 7.5% of our tax revenue actually goes down to the people. It goes down, down to the district assemblies. But then, if you come to the disadvantages, sometimes it makes people lazy because they only rely on the central approach of sending what we call the district assemblies common fund in Ghana every quarter and this is done quarterly but then what is the other approach that we have developed as local government in Ghana the approach that we have developed is what we call the DDF district development uh, fund in other words we also call it the functional assessment tool for what DDF the functional assessment tool which is very interesting and I think um, if it's been implemented across board, it will be very important because you are assessed and based on your assessment, if you perform, money will be transferred to you annually. If you fail by not practicing what is right for the people, the local people, i.e. if you have corruption issues in your audited account, it means you are going to fail. And when you fail, you, you lose a lot of money, and I mean a lot of money, because it's the most, I will say, most reliable fund that we use at the local level at, at the moment. Look, when you come to something like poverty eradication, who are you talking about? You're talking about the local people. When it comes to something like housing, um, trying to take care of housing, who are you talking about? You're talking about the local people. When it comes to um, education, you're talking about the local people. When it comes to all these agendas that we are talking about, or the goals, we are referring to the people. So the people must come out with something, and they own it. They will say, yes, this is what we said we want, and it has come up, so we need to work together. And let me tell you something. If people actually come out with something and they are working towards it and they see that it's something that they own, they use everything, all their force, regardless of how it is, they will try to make sure they achieve it. So I think it is very important we do proper consultation, education, eradication of poverty, anger, all these things are something where, I mean, gender equality. It could happen that, I mean, if we're taking the universal approach, it could happen that in Germany, on this particular program, I have seen too many ladies being involved. But when it comes to probably in Ghana, I'll ask myself at local level, do we have gender equality when it comes to this? Probably the answer will be no. And if the answer is no, and the local people are saying, yes, this is what we want, and then I think it becomes something that they own, and it's very important. What I would say is that um, the MDG was alright, it was good. Um, however, certain things has not been able to achieve, probably, and I'm using the word probability, probably because uh, it was 
up-down approach, not bottom-down approach. So when it comes to implementation, uh, there may be challenges and all those things. And I think going forward, we have to let decisions come from the ground. Then um, we take it together in a universal approach, whereby we will not see it to be only for a particular country or only for a particular region of people, but collectively we're trying to work towards it and fight it together.